This video will show you how to use the explicit message communication with the Micrologix PLC to use the custom service to change the execute condition number on the CVX series. So if you're using the execute conditions and you're referencing the execute condition number, this will allow the PLC to change the current execution number. So let me uh, pull up the manual real quick first. Again, this is uh, going to be custom service 4E hex. So that's the going to be what you're set up in the message. And this is going to change the execute condition number. So the only thing you need to send it, you need to send it four bytes. And it's simply what is the current execute condition number that you want to send it. So uh, I'll show you how to set that up. Here is the explicit message setup. You can see we're already starting off with the most of the message commands set up already. We've got our class, instance, and everything already set up ahead of time. Uh, this is custom service 4E to change the con execute condition number. And uh, if you recall, I just showed you we need to send four bytes. So our send information is going to be four bytes, and we don't need to receive anything, so we're going to leave that at zero. And we're going to send from our L12, that uh, location that we're sending data from. So what we're going to need to do is in L12, but you know, location zero, we're going to need to load in the number that we want to change the execution, execute condition number to. So that's the message setup. Uh, the multi-hap tab, that's where you set up the IP address of the CVX controller to send to. So this is the destination. We're going to send this message to this IP address. So let's go ahead and download this to the PLC and test it out. Okay, now that we're online with the PLC, we have the CVX in run mode and ready. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and change the execute condition number. Right now, the execute, execute condition number on the CVX is set at zero. It starts off at zero until you change it. So let's go ahead and uh, open up our L12. And we're going to load in. Let's say we want to change the execute, con execute condition number to one. So I'm going to load in a one there. And then we'll go ahead and I'll manually I'll send our message command here. So it'll be... Uh, do that. So I'll toggle my bit. So when you execute this message, if it's successful, you should get the done bit turn green and activate. If you get an error, you'll obviously get the error bit. But uh, you can see we have the green done message. So our execute condition has number has changed to one. So if you're using uh, that on the CVX side and you execute your program, any tool that is referencing execute condition number one will execute. If I want to change it back to zero, I simply load a zero back in and then toggle that bit again. So I'm going to turn it off and back on. So now our execute condition number is back to zero. And uh, you can continue that. If you're using other numbers, say I wanted to change it to five, just literally load in a five here. And then we'll again, we'll toggle the bit. So that'll change it to a five. So a pretty simple message command. And, and that's how you do it. That's how you change the message or use the message to change the execute condition number.